Hello everyone, 大家好! Welcome back to Xiao Qian, 7 days for Mandarin pronunciation. Last time we finished the consonants of Chinese pinyin. Today we will start with vowels. Simple vowels. There are 5 simple vowels in Chinese pinyin. Only 5. And let's take a look one by one. First of all, a ah is close to uh, the sound of father, a ah, father. So it's a. Ah. So for example, ba. Ba is father in Chinese. Ba. And ma, uh, this one looks uh, familiar, right? It's mother. Ma, right? So it's a. Ah. Uh, let's move on to the next one. The second one is O. Uh, o is like in frog, but uh, the only difference between frog and Chinese O is the shape of your mouth. Because uh, when you pronounce Chinese O, um, uh, your mouth looks more like a perfect circle than oval. So like O, O. So for example, Bo. Bo, right? Okay. Uh, the next one is a little bit different from English vowel. It's not a like in jelly or fella, nor e as in he or she. It's a. Uh. So I'm gonna tell you how to pronounce this a, uh, right? First of all, what you're gonna do is try to pronounce o with rounding rounding your lips. O. And then uh, try to stretch your lips a little bit to make your lips look like a flat oval. So, like this. Oh, uh, right? It's easy. So it's. Uh. Let's take a look at some of these examples. I hope you remember how to pronounce uh, these consonants in Chinese pinyin, right? Remember. Okay, it's g, g, and h, h. So e is u, not e or nor e. It's u, right? Please remember. Okay, the next one is e. Uh, e is like in east. It's very close to the first sound of east, and like in xi and di. Right? It's pretty much simple. But um, please uh, remember, because when E comes after uh, some of these consonants, like zi, 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 with E uh, sounds different. E doesn't sound at all with these consonants. So please, uh, please listen. I'm going to read this word. Zi, 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 zi. See, even though there are uh, vowels, e vowels after these consonants, each of the consonants, but uh, e doesn't sound at all. Only consonants sound. So it's zi zi si, zi zi shi ri, right? Please remember. It's a little bit tricky, but I'm sure you're gonna get used to it, right? Okay. The last one is wu. U uh, is like in rule or fool or moon, right? It's U. So, for example, in Chinese, Bu. Zhu. And uh, like E vowel, mm, there is an exception too for U because when U comes after these four consonants, Ji, Qi, Xi, Yi, sounds U. Uh, have you ever seen this kind of vowel? Uh, pretty close to the English uh, vowel U, but with two dots on its head. Uh, it sounds like U. There is no such sound in English pronunciation, but in French there is U sound, as far as I know. So, uh, what, uh, how can we pronounce this U? Let me tell you. Uh, first of all, you try to pronounce E with um, drawing your lips to both sides, e, and then you round your lips uh, as when you pronounce o, like this, e, u, 
right? Now you can pronounce yu sound, right? Uh, and as I told you, uh, wu with ji qi xi yi uh, sounds like yu. So please listen and repeat. Ju, chu, shu, yu. All right? Okay, uh, now we are done with the simple vowels of Chinese pinyin. And next time we are going to talk about compound vowels. All right? Thank you very much and see you next time. 再见!